October's military takeover has been met with regular, large, and widespread demonstrations demanding a return to civilian rule. At least 100 demonstrators have been killed during that time, eight of them Thursday. In the past week, security forces injured more than 600 protesters. Following the recent violence, General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan says the army will withdraw from politics. We want to open the door for political and revolutionary forces to sit down and form a government of national technocrats that will fulfill the needs of the transitional phase. I hope these forces will start immediately a serious dialogue that will restore the unity of the Sudanese people. After forming the executive government, the transitional council will be dissolved, and a high council will be formed for the armed forces.